I was I was told to keep it short because she had to perform. I don't I don't know. September the 16th, 5.30. I also would like to say that the uh, paper is here and they are videoing our meeting. So, glad that you could uh, be here. Kathy. Uh, Kathy. Yes. Scott. Elizabeth. CEO. Here. Cecil. Here. All right, before you are the minutes of August the 19th. We will review those. And if there's any questions. Motion to accept the minutes of August the 19th. Make a motion. Second. Motion's been made and second. Kathy? Yes. Scott? Yes. Cecil? Yes. Phil? Yes. Elizabeth? Oh. Before you is the financial report from August the 19th to September the 13th. You will review that if there's any questions. I've got one question. Yes. Dr. County is on the gas bill. I know it's it's a thousand dollars and thousand twelve dollars seventy five cents. But uh, when we put the things on the truck and everything, it went from eleven hundred and something dollars down to seven hundred and something dollars. But now we well, we got three trucks and and everything. How is it still staying way up very high? I know there was a little increase. I order keys. Each employee now has individual key. So when they go get gas, it's logged under their name, their PIN number, mileage, and how much gas they get. And each time, what time they go, how they, how often. So the report's going to be a lot more detailed. The bill was this month was a little bit higher because I'd pay for those keys. Yeah, but it was eleven hundred something last month. Okay. Yeah. But I just want. To Personally, I just want to stay on this thing because I think that's a lot of money we've been spending for gasoline and everything that we could Use maybe to put it somewhere else to help the citizens. Of well, well, I ordered keys. Now it's more detailed and more, um, what's the word? Uh, the sewer department don't have trucks that go for you guys. No, they cannot. They don't have a key. They don't have trucks. Okay. 
but I'm the, just. The no, guys no. have a separate key for one more gas too. It has to. They have to come here and get it for Teresa and I to use it. Yeah. Okay. All right. More accountability. That's the word I was trying to use. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that'd be, that'd be helpful for all of us. Do I have a motion to accept the finances of August the 19th from September the 13th? Motion. Motion's been made. Second. And motion's been second. Kathy? Yes. Scott? Yes. Cecil? Yes. Cecil? Yes. Elizabeth? Uh, next uh, is the sewer rate increase ordinance, the second reading. We discussed this at our last meeting that it had been suggested that we generate more revenue for our water and sewer and the council approved the increase in percentage instead of rate. Uh, so do I have a motion to accept a second reading on the sewer rate increase? Do we need to review that so y'all can review what we decided? We went from 90, up to 90 to 100. Right. 100. 100. On businesses, 100. And 90 on percentage, percentage of your water bill will well, be your sewer bill. I've got a question. It might be, right now it might be a good time. We cannot make any money off our water and sewer, right? Right, right. Well, but we have to show. Well, I, I know we got to keep up with the time mm -hmm. template. <coughs> and uh, so I just wanted to that. I didn't know where the rest of them knew that or not. But because there's a lot of money spent on water and sewers. That's yeah. true, but when the state shows that we have a deficit <coughs> of $90,000 $90, sure. and then, then advise that we increase our yeah, revenue, yeah. then we follow through on that. Yeah. You have to cover the cost of operation mm -hmm. plus future expenses. Yeah, I understand so, that yeah. part. So that's why sewer rates would increase uh, to 80, 90 for residential and 100 on commercials, what we voted on, what the ordinance stated. Okay. So do I have a motion to accept the second reading of the sewer rate increase? Make a motion. Second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Kathy? Scott? Yes. Cecil? Yes. CL? Yes. Elizabeth? Okay. Next on our agenda is Todd Gilbeck's uh, contract. Uh, what that is implying is Todd will be leaving, retiring uh, January the 3rd. And he is proposed of what he uh, would stay on for services to us. Uh, let me stress that the services that he has offered is desperately needed. We do have to have a licensed water, certified water to sign off that is required by the state. So his services as a certified licensed water uh, grade one, sewer collection grade two operator. His services would also include monitoring the SCADA system, which is the system that monitors the tank levels and uh, re lets us let's know where the levels of the tank and then call out and then we'll know what's going on and we have to have that. Uh, monthly reports, which is most important, and we'll collect and deliver the samples to Etowah. He will also oversee the uh, ARCA project that is for our lift station and he was in the beginning of it and it's most important that he stays on to follow that project through. He offers the services at the cost of $1,200 per month for one year only. Um, this is a very a good um, offer if, um, to monitor and to stay on and sign off and to make sure you know different things. Uh, it's a very fire very fair to the city. This is only for one year. Next year it will be renewed because the, um, the um, lift station will be finished by then. So that will, 
he's going to be him overseeing yeah. that contract. Yeah. He will oversee the contract, and he's been in the contract from the beginning, and we're and we're getting close to implementing put it, uh, for the lift station. And he will be signing off on our water and other services. So um, this will would take effect January the third. Well, I got some stuff. My about question: that. Would, would you like to ask? Well, first of all, I think we're getting ramrodded. Second of all. I've been watching Todd for four years since I've been on this board and everything. Now, how come the boys over here has to go over there and wash down that lift station and stuff? That, and put the chemicals in and everything. The, yes, the lift station. Yeah, and clean it up and everything. When they're sitting, these two men over there sitting on their butts, at the at the sewer plant, and and he's wanting to charge us for the water if he's a, on the on the water doing. Why we pay eleven hundred dollars a month for backflow when he ought to be able to do the backflow? Mm -hmm. Wasn't a contract for eleven hundred dollars? Uh, for the backflow preventers when they went and checked them all. <coughs> when they checked them all and charged because us Because it's not certified in back home uh, preventer. It's not certified in that area. You have I, to have I, a certified I, person to do that and uh, Copper Basin Utility has two certified employees. Well, Todd's going to retire in January. Yes. Jimmy's only been over be about three months, four months. Mm -hmm. He's not going to know everything about that thing over there. Johnny comes in on the weekend so they can have the weekends off. And uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> who's going to be certified when Jimmy goes? I heard and I was told that Jimmy is going to retire too. Well, Jim, no, you have to be a certified operator to sign off. You have to be a licensed operator to sign off on the water. You can't be an employee. And Todd has a class one. Uh, certified operator's license. Well, can we and check required, around and see if we can get one a lot cheaper to sign off on it, like we do the sewer? The sewer is five hundred dollars a month to okay. sign off. Just to sign off. That's all he does. Okay, sign off. So, well. Well, can, can Jamie? He's over the water. Can he go up there and check the tanks and stuff and make sure the tanks are full and stuff? Well, the SCADA system is a system that they all have. <coughs> And Todd is always overseeing the skate. There's more than just saying, oh, there's something wrong with the tank. That's an app on your phone. Mm -hmm. And it goes off. It alarms mm -hmm. you if there's a, a big difference between the levels. But alarming us to a leak. Well, can't we change that to, like Jamie, he's, he's over the water now. Well, that's, that's one of what the I'm problems. trying to say you is. Don't, you don't want to pan that on somebody all the time. Four it's hour. a 24 hour job. Well, so that's why we rotate Todd's, it now. Todd's doing it right now. You yes. know, every he, other month. He rotates it right mm -hmm. now. It is rotated with Jamie. With Jamie and who else? Jamie and Todd. And Todd's doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he would be solely responsible for that. Todd would. Well, I think twelve hundred dollars a month is too much for him just signing off on that and running down yonder to Edward to take a sample once a week or every two weeks. And he'll be monitoring the SCADA system uh, twenty four seven, and he'll also be overseeing the uh, implementing of the uh, lift station. Well, the big thing is him doing that. Arca project, Arca project. Well, you can't just let anyone oversee the Arca project. You've got to have someone that's certified in that area or that's very uh, knowledgeable of what's going, what needs to be done, and are they doing it? You need somebody to read it properly and make sure they go with it in the, in the, so, in the contract. That's one. That's Todd, what you need. Todd proposed for one year only, and the ARCA project will be finished in, in one year, hopefully. Well, we 
to come to vote, I'm voting no. It's vote have you want to. Well, do I have a motion by, uh, to accept the uh, contract offer by Todd Gilback? So there's not no motion to accept this contract. So as of January the 3rd, the city will not have a certified operator. They will not have someone to monitor the new ARCA system that's being, or the ARCA project that's being put in. And so. Well, I got another question. Tom's been letting it know for quite a while that he's going to retire January the 1st as the city tried to find out if we could get anybody else. At a cost that would double? Yes. Now, let me remind you, Todd signed off for the city 10 years ago. He's always, he's done this in then the Then he lay up, then he come back. Yes. But what I'm saying, if you want to pay twice this amount, well, it will be the next council. Um, and all these things have to be covered by a certified operator. Now, if we have to hire, if the city cannot afford to hire uh, a certified operator, as I said before, uh, $60,000 a year. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. We have searched. Before we moved anyone over there, we looked for a certified operator. The, the only person or several applied in the lowest one was $60,000. Not including the benefits. Not including the benefits. So what I'm saying is, so Todd will be under contract For as a contract year. worker yes. and not with the city. Yeah. All right, if Jimmy stays over there, he don't know nothing about it. He's not certified or nobody else. That's why Todd is Todd is the certified operator for the city. He will be signing off on all paperwork that is done is he by certified the for the for the sewer over there. Yes, I just he just read he is a. a well, I'm him. gonna vote against. It. I'm gonna call the state. <laughs> In Chattanooga and find out why, can, why, why we can't find somebody else to do this. Well, if that's, uh, I can't. It's my opinion, and but I'm not going to vote for it. They will say if you can find a certified operator, a license one, grade one, then uh, that's what you have to do. But uh, honestly, this will be up to the next council. We, he just presented this ahead of time, so it would be in place on January the 3rd. Todd actually helped us look for another mm -hmm. certified operator that would be willing to come here. And nobody wants to work over there. So we thought we have one. Mm -hmm. So basically, this was not until January the 3rd, and the new administration will can review this and see. Uh, he just like to have it put in place before then, so things can be seamless. Yes. So, do we have a motion to accept this contract? No motion is made. Kathy. Yes. Scott. Yes. Cecil. No. CL. Just turn roll call. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, save this mm -hmm. and advice to the next council. I know some of the uh, council is here. Uh, when you all take the office, it's vitally important that you talk with Todd Deal back and see what he suggests that is to be done for the next year. Yeah, trash pickup. All right, I was going to do that on kind of this gentleman over here made a proposal that we disband the $10 pickup because the city is paying twice. We're paying $10 a month to pick it up, and then we got to pay the county for them to dump the things over there. Yes. And the reason the $10 pickup was implemented is because the city. Uh, if you have a, a reviewed our budget, you know that we only get mm, about 100000 a year property taxes. So you say yes, but the cost uh, for expensive, we sadly had to put 
something in place, and the council voted on as ten dollars a month for trash pickup. It's how much? Sixteen. I want to say. How much is trash? They charge us for trash. It's eighty-two. We're not, we're, not pay, we're not paying it right now, are we? Uh, no. They haven't billed us, but that doesn't say they're not going to bill us. <clears throat> well, the uh, only thing I look at and is... And anyone can have the option to move out. This is not something well, you have I know, to. I know it. They can but, opt out. But the thing about it, it is, Ducktown sued them. Ducktown won the case. Yes. Ducktown does not have to pay the fee over there. But, and I voted for it for the $10 and everything. But I see this, the citizens of Copper Hill does not get one thing for their taxes they pay that the city provides. If you can tell me one thing that they get, then I'll shut up. But they don't get one thing through the city on the taxes they pay. And, and I'm not I'm sure all these men that are going around mowing and weed eating and cleaning up probably disagree. Well, okay, I'll go. I'll take your thing for that. They go around, they mow, and they clean. Oh, yeah. I've been for four years trying to get streets cleaned up and everything else. They do what they want to when they want to, and I'm sorry. I've been on to them about things up on Second Street, Third Street, up here street between Stephen Street and your street and everything else, trying to get things done and everything else, trying to get the old cars picked up and do it. And people that don't take their and cut the grass and everything. There's Robert Rowan's house right up above his and don't cut the grass down there. And in the houses all over the city that we can't get the city to tell them and start buying them. If we could do that, then that'd be fine, but we just don't do it. Second, third street, they mowed the whole summer. They mowed Colonial three times. They just pass us up every time. Well, if either, have you called and, and I have told the girls every time we've had a meeting down here. How long did you take to crank the chainsaw to cut that uh, tree? The, what we're discussing is trash pickup in the charge right now. That's what's on the, we're discussing well, in, that. In, in a, tr a tree that's fell trash? We're discussing the charge of $10 a month for trash pickup. So, uh, CL, what do you, how do you want, do you want to bring this before the council to vote to? to well, I'll make a motion that we vote to, to rescind the $10. I second. Motion's been made and second. We are going to do Yes. This we'll have to present it to Hannah, because we made it as an ordinance, so we'll have to. Have to do what? It's an ordinance. It's an ordinance, so we'll have to read. It is an ordinance that we do the trash pickup, so there's a difference <coughs> in the process you have to go through to have it removed. Okay. So. <coughs> take a vote. You just did. You just did. So we. You voted to, and we will look into it. The motion's been made and seconded. Then take a vote. Kathy? Yes. Scott? Yes. Cecil? Yes. CL? Elizabeth? So we will get with Hannah and see how this is to be revoked. Okay. So this $10 a month goes to expense of sanitation for the city of Calgary. I'm going to tell you that our accountant is going to lose her mind because it's in the budget already. This is for that fee. So it's going to be a mess for this year. For this fiscal year. Stop picking it up here. We can stop picking okay. the trash because it's in the budget for this fiscal year. When a budget is made for a fiscal year from June to June, you follow that budget. And this is in the budget from June to June. She's already allotted for that money. So in June, this can be taken out. But we'll come back with the answers from our from MTAS to out. let y'all know. I wanted to make sure that you just can't up and take ordinance away by a vote. 
then the next step would be find a company that would be more what we need. Right now, you just can't cut it. Cold okay, turkey. that's. That's what I'm trying to get to. I'm sorry. I, I, we just can't you know, say we're not you, you're saying to. something that makes sense to me now that I'm trying to get to. If they can, if they can do that and, and everything, then you know yes. that that'd be fine. Because I'd like to see a company that live up to their what they say they're going to do. Stephanie and see what her other cities use. What other system they use and maybe we can i appreciate it so we've given this company six months to to correct the what we've been trying to work with what y'all been trying to work with not i no what Teresa's been what Teresa's. Well, so that's the plan you've got to set if yeah. you're not following that okay. uh garrison citizens here to update us on the uh, project and the council will have some questions got found on Tennessee.org the city limit um, boundary and it is that dotted line as you see just to the right of 3rd Street. Oh, yes, Justice 
by letting that. And, and I wouldn't want to cost you one dime more than it has to up there. But I'd like to see everything that the city's got on this thing be look, look to, you know, look after. <coughs> I might not be wording this stuff right or anything else, but uh, 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 I appreciate you. <coughs> I appreciate you what you're doing and everything. This man back here is got his hand up. When I worked for the volunteer fire department decades ago, we used to get called out when they wanted to burn a building or they wanted to burn debris, debris on an empty lot. Yeah. And we would go out for free and we'd actually test some of our equipment okay. while we were doing burns. Okay. If you can contact, and I know that over in Ducktown they have a volunteer fire department, but if you can contact the fire department and say, hey, I'd like to be doing a burn, it's going to be very large, okay. you know, they're more, more likely they might say, okay, on next yeah. Tuesday we'll do that burn. For the train. Yeah. Well, I heard the fire marshal come up and said the others could burn it in the county. And, and yet, yeah, you can get a burn like permit say, from the county. Yeah, yeah. we we had mean, burn permits through the, through the state and the county. Yeah, well, yeah, well like I say, I, I appreciate what you're doing up there and over there and everything else. And like I say, I was going to cost you in. I, I, yeah. I want you to. I mean, we don't buy. It. Uh, <laughs> but I just I just want the people on. Third Street, if one of them houses gets on fire, it's going to go from Third Street run through First Street. Well, come the fall when the kudzu turns brown, it spreads real fast. Oh, I know it does. And everything else, but I'm sorry to run off at the mouth all the time, but I just want to right into the city of the copter. And if anybody else has got anything to say about it, you know, I, I appreciate it. I think the citizens will follow through. I just handed him a, our ordinance. Uh, I've talked with Justin to to follow through on what the ordinance stated. Um, there's no burning inside the city limits of Copper Hill. And in fact, the ordinance states here, Justin, yeah. Garrison. It also states that there's no smoke soot cinders fumes, dust. This ordinance was written so long ago that it doesn't specifically say no burn, no tearing your home down to cause dust or anything else. So we've contacted MTAS and HANA and this will be rewritten with more specifics. So I'm saying if uh, a house needs to be torn down, that's going to cause dust, it's going to cause toxic uh, in the air. So we are going to have this rewritten to be more specific because this is not, but it basically say that, but this indicates what it says. So um, now that Garrison and them understand what our ordinance says, uh, hopefully I think they will follow through. We do have a lot of citizens with respiratory problems that, is, that has caused, you know, that will cause, and I, and y'all understand this, we, this is a first on, on all of us, so that brought to light that we need to change our ordinance for burning. So, but if, on the two acres, uh, that's in Polk County, so, you know, that you'll get a permit for burning. Well, he's not got the permits for that. So, Didn't you say you had the permits for that? Well, we've had previous ones. Okay. Yeah. For it. So yeah, they so know the process to go, go through yeah. for that. It's, it's, it's a daily check. But uh, yeah, I'm just, still going to come out of town, though. I mean, we're still going to experience that. I mean, I wish you would work out another way to do some type of, you know, shred the stuff like Tri-State does. I mean, it, you know, Labor Day weekend, the whole entire downtown was, was filled with smoke because of you guys. You know, my, my hope would be that you'll be a better neighbor yeah, you're going to take it over to the county, but it's still going to bring smoke over on to all of us, the soot over on to all of us. So I wish you would reconsider the burden. That's, that's my two cents. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing I, that I have a lot of problems with is the time they burn it at night and everything when everybody's asleep. And that stuff's right there. Scotty lives on 3rd Street back there, and he knows how it is in the tender box that thing can do. It just takes one, one spark. And, 
He's got a brother that I don't think he's completely handicapped, but he, he's up in age and everything. It'd be hard for him to get out of the house, the people down through there and everything else. And uh, I'm just wanting to look after the citizens' view. As far as costing you money, the citizens' money, I, 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 I hope it never costs you any money. But if you maybe get the fire department over there during the day, where everybody be up and, you know, round. But we have the, a no, no, they can't, it's a no burn on anything. Well, that's, I mean, that's true too. But, so I mean, it'll cost, I'm going to say, if you was to haul out of the trucks, take it up there and everything, you're going to spend four or $5,000 just on fuel and labor. Take it to the two acres up on top of where you can burn it at. But, but you know, but just like... Greg said, if, if there's any way of chipping it up or maybe a place where you're not going to build a house, bury some of it, that would, you know, that would help. Okay. We appreciate you and everything. You know. yeah, and I hear you, and, and we've looked at, at several options. Uh, we've, we've looked at a grinder. We've, we've yeah. looked at, at hauling it over to the company, uh, working with Mr. Haynes. Yeah. Uh, so we'd, we'd be moving it, you know, essentially a few thousand feet the way the crow flies. Yeah. Uh, but we're we're searching every option. Okay. For sure. But I just hope they don't start burning at night because I'm, I'm scared everybody's going to sleep. Yeah. And every house up through there on 3rd Street on the right hand side is full. I mean, it's got people living in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I have confidence. Project will, seasons will follow through on what's best for us. Well, I hope, I, you know, I hope they do and everything. I'm for them 100%. So I appreciate you giving us this update in the home. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Uh, will the, the homes have, uh, of course, we need to discuss some letters, so uh, driveways and things of that nature. And we'll, as you get closer, we'll go through what needs to be done. So, Garrison, thank you for coming and staying. And, yes, ma'am. Uh, just let us know what plans you've got. Okay. Uh, let the ladies know if anything needs to be, let the citizens know anything or like whatever. So. We'll be at these for sure. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you need to ask the citizens? Uh, Garrison? Uh, no, ma'am, not on okay. that part of it. I don't. But you were concerned about the creek, and I'm sure Garrison will explain. They explain yeah, the I, I didn't know where they was going to put the, the silk screens, you know, up there, you know, to keep the big stuff out of the creek and everything. Yeah. So, uh, when, because, uh, when, when, when we get to that zone, yeah, we, we certainly will. But, uh, well, I, like the mayor said, you know, this is a big outfit been around for a long time. I'm sure you would and everything, but it's just like everything else. When human does it, somebody will make a mistake and something will get done. But if we mention it, well, maybe it'll help. Uh, any other concerns? I've got a, another concern. And it's a concern that Mr. Art had on top of Cemetery Hill over there. Okay. Uh, the gentleman moved in another, he says a storage building. I mean, if I'm wrong, he moved it in there on a trailer and he took the tongue off of the thing and everything. If you can get a storage building, the storage building usually comes on skids. But if it comes on wheels and everything, they move it in there. It looks like it's 10 foot wide, maybe 12 foot wide, long. It's made the outside like somebody, like he could, what he done on the first one. Mm -hmm. He went and made it apartment and everything, he's got it rented out. So I was just concerned about that right there. Cecil was concerned about it, he's mentioned it two or three times. But, uh, but you know, I just, is anyone living in it? No, ma'am. They wouldn't. As far as I know, there's not one living in it. 
Teresa told me her husband went up there and he's using it as a storage right now. But as far as that building goes, they got it up on blocks and it's up about that high and everything. To me, if you got a storage building, you got it down, you got a door where you can open it up and put stuff in there and everything. But if you got it up on piers, you know, and everything, and you can't get big stuff in there unless you build a ramp to get up there to it and everything. I'm just afraid that he'll catch us in a lull sometime down the road and just go ahead and do it like he done that other one. Well, when that first one was put in, we did not have a building inspector or planning or... It, but we does did. Does he have this... It doesn't have... It, it, right now, it's used for storage or tools and stuff, correct? Well, that's what... She says, and I don't doubt her word a bit. So, but it but, still has to have a front and back entrance and a front and back porch. Okay. Right, Bob. So that's something that he will have to put in. Okay. And but, that's something she can follow through. You've got to have a front and back entrance, and you have to have a porch to get in and out. Well, now, the way I understood it, he got water. He put the sewer in. I think Albert Green went up there and put the sewer in. And knock a bunch of stuff down in my yard, but aside from that. But, uh, you know, he done that and he hooked to, I don't know if he hooked to his lot down there where he's at, or did he hook straight to the sewer? Teresa can answer that, that question. Before my time. Oh, well, I, that's been a long I time ago, man. Well, now, either. he got the permits <clears throat> on four, wait a minute, 420. Twenty-three, and the permits run out on four twenty twenty-four. For them. He did ask if he needed he, to renew that, and we told him no because. But <coughs> what I'm saying is, okay. that's just like a trailer that's yeah. moved in there. I don't know. I might have to be all wrong about this, fellas. But you just can go up there and you look at it and everything else. But if we ought to make it where he can not make it a livable place like he did on the other one because it it was moved in there you can buy a tiny house and put it on trailer wheels they'll bring it in here but you can buy a tiny house that they'll put on skids and you can bring it in here and put on a concrete foundation that's they, acceptable they brought my storage shed on wheels and then took them well you can do that too well, but i don't know i was going to ask the other day when I come down here, I was going to ask Barry because I cannot step on his property. But Barry, as a code enforcer, can. If that still's got the axles under it, then I consider it a traitor. It doesn't have axles. I've already asked that question, and I also know that he told me I can talk to his lawyer. Okay, his lawyer. <laughs> yeah, because his lawyer said the state of Tennessee, he can go forward with it, that there's nothing we can do about it. Well, what has the lawyer got to do with the city ordinance? The ordinance calls for three trailers to be grandfathered everywhere around the Utah Cemetery Hill. That trailer was brought in up there and said nothing done about it. And he said he's going to make a shop out of it. Make some kind of bed out of it. Yeah. No, no. No, it should have been hauled out the same day as back in there. Because the city does not recognize trailers. It's single. Single is it a trailer? Or is it a trailer? It's showing up. We'll further look into it and see what's out there. Well, I we go by with the, with the different years that things was done and brought in, we'll have to go back. Well, and I'd like to go back and see. Uh, I like a gentleman. I went up there and talked to him on the other one and, and everything else. I like it and everything else, but I'm back to the same old days. If you let one do it, you got to let all of them do it. If you let one burn in the city, you're going to have to let it everybody burn in the city. And that's what I don't want to be done, you know. I just want to protect the citizens of Copper Hill. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong and I'll shut up. All through and see what he's got and see what mandates are going on. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. Motion's been made. Second. Second. Second.
Wait a minute, we didn't ask them. They got it. Oh, yeah, let's get public comment. Well, I just said, does anyone Well, I jumped in there. I'm sorry. And this gentleman, I think, has got something. You've got nothing. Well, appreciate you being here. How about this? I, I do have something. Okay. 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 Sorry. So, I understand what you were saying about the ten dollars of the water, but I was also here when that was put in place. How we were going in the hole constantly with the garbage pickup, and that was the whole reason why y'all made that ordinance. The whole reason why you charge that ten dollars to help keeping us from going further and further in the hole. That's correct. If you take, and I mean it, it was hit, we discussed it from ten dollars to twelve dollars to fifteen dollars, and it was voted to do the ten dollars. So you can't tell me that if you're going to take that away, we're going to go that much further into the hole. Now, and I, I, I mean, I understand that y'all want to give something back to the people. And it's not that I'll pay the extra $10, but I don't want to see the city continuing to go in a hole. Because you're just building a bigger hole that's going to be passed on from council to council. And I am appalled at the fact that y'all want to take that back so that it can continue to go in the hole. And even with the ten dollars, that we're still in the hole. So I'm as I'm very much against it, and that's what I have to say. I still have the papers where I broke down how much maintenance was and how much gas. Yeah, I understand that. Compared to what we got on tax revenue, it, when we discussed it, is what we had to do to for sanitation, not water and stuff to fund our sanitation department with the cost of it and still we, we don't break even on what the ten dollars we charge. Any citizen had the right to opt out of it if they wanted to. So it wasn't something that was forced on any citizen. But um, you know if you have to you know that's just something we had to do as a city. We run a city uh, unfortunately we have to make ends meet and that's <coughs> what we had to do to make ends meet. Well, can we see if the, 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 the county just forgets that over yonder? Well, we're... Then I, I ain't got no problem, but I hate to... I don't want to see the citizens paying twice. Well, I, my thought on that, though, would be that it is still opt out, right? Mm -hmm. You can choose... So, at this point, we're talking about a, a chosen service. A right? chosen service. In, 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 in my head. So, to repeal it seems... Uh, an odd sweeping move for everybody when people could choose to repeal it for themselves. I mean, they essentially they can opt out anytime they want. So I don't know why the city would want to kind of blanket throw that on everybody when obviously there are a lot of. I mean, I, I have no issue with the, the ten dollar fee. I, I, I'm, I'm happy oh, to pay I don't it. Either. No, I know. I'm saying, but I'm happy, I'm happy to pay it just because it's it's one less thing I got to do. But because people have the option. I don't know that there's a necessity for the council to to work on the repeal of that, in my opinion. Well, the thing about it, though, it is, and and like I say, I might be wrong, but I don't like to see them get charged twice for the garbage. No, I understand that. If we, if we don't have to pay that county thing, I don't mind it. That's the $10 still, we on. have to fund sanitation, whether we pay the county or whether we not. We still have to fund sanitation. We still are going, it. we have to fund the trucks, the men, the well, everything yeah. that goes with it. So that $10 is sanitation, it's not water and sewer. And we bear, we don't work either. Well, I can, so I can understand that. It's not water and sewer. And but it's if not the city of, of go and do like Ducktown did, they won the case. We ought to be able to win the case too. We my, did. My I got no problem. My, my thought that would be. But the city than, is not going to spend ten thousand dollars to win a case. Rather than repeal, rather than repeal it in that instance, uh, mm -hmm. I don't. Um, I, I guess I don't understand why we would. Like I said, why you just wouldn't choose to opt out? Are, are I, there I, some I, citizens that can't afford it? Like if there's. 
nine year old grandma that's on a fixed income, she can't afford the extra ten dollars. Sure. sure. I guess that's the concern. Yeah, that's the concern. Sure. We got and we more talk uh, about people that's right. on fixed income sure. and everything. It's ten dollars. Some of no, them. No, no, it, it makes them break them. Absolutely. Yes, and I, and I do that. I, still, I'm sorry when this position's hard. When you have to run the city as a business and you have to show the state that you are running a business and you're not going in the hole. You're not. You're. You're breaking even, or you're trying to improve. It well, is an ordinance. We can't. It's a long process uh, because it is an ordinance. So we can. Well, if we can go back and, and, and do like Bucktown, or it, it's done been ruled on their city, uh, and and I don't think it'll cost us ten thousand dollars. It it will cost us a lawyer's fee. To take this to court, and, duck, and like Ducktown, it cost Ducktown quite a bit of money to take this to court, and it cost the county a lot of money to take this to court. If we take it to court, it will cost us money that we don't have, and we're not taking it to court because we don't have the money. We don't have that type of money. Why can't we go to the county executive's sector or up here at the Senate? Well, county. you speak to the, you know, you speak, you speak to Robbie Hatcher how unfair <clears throat> it is. I've spoke with him ever since it was implemented. Yeah. But still, it's in the budget that it's been, it's in the budget and it's in an ordinance. So at this point in time, no, you can't just take it out and say no, we're not doing it. It's a process. Well, it's still been voted on. So, do I have a motion to adjourn again? Anyway, I'm sorry, Garrison. Oh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So the city of Blue Ridge has four of those guys similar to Todd Dilbeck, all of which make similar salaries that you mentioned with benefits, retirement, you know, et cetera. To me, the Dilbeck thing seems like a layup. 1200 bucks a month seems like a steal. Mm -hmm. you, you know, not to mention the education someone's required to go through and the training and you know, it, it would cost yeah. way more than that. To Ten times more because that would, with. And, and you yeah. still have to train someone up before the end of next, you know, 2025. But it gets you. We ought to start that a long time ago. Is there Instead a of wait right here to the uh -huh. house. No, sure. you can't train somebody up to take. I'm not going into this discussion because the new council, I'll be glad to explain to y'all when you take office. And Todd Neal back will too of the process of certified operators. Ah, thank you, Garrison. It is expensive, and what Todd offered was a very good contract to follow through for a year. Um, what Todd didn't put in there is we will be paying for his license, okay. you, just like we do Joseph's. Yes. Yeah, we pay for them. Yeah, not very it's much. not much. He didn't put it in there. Thank you for be. that input. I don't think they realize the expense of, of operators. Ah, good job. Make a motion. Motion's been made. Second. Yeah. Motion's been made and second. Okay. Yes. Scott. Yes. 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 Yeah. And Greg, I need to give you some the information. The does inspections. Uh, yeah. I need to talk to the